Satan, Sin, and Repentance In the intricate tapestry of Islamic theology, the interplay of Satan, sin, and repentance weaves a compelling narrative of spiritual struggle and redemption. Imagine a cosmic drama where the noblest of beings consumed by arrogance falls from grace, becoming the relentless adversary of humanity. This tale unfolds against the backdrop of human frailty, where the allure of temptation and the pitfalls of disobedience threaten to obscure the path to divine unity. Yet, amidst this existential battle, there shines a beacon of hope, the concept of repentance, a profound act of spiritual healing and renewal that offers believers a chance to reconcile with their Creator and reclaim their spiritual purity. In Islamic theology, the concepts of Satan, sin, and repentance are central to understanding the spiritual journey of humanity and its relationship with divine guidance. Throughout history, God has sent messengers or prophets to remind and guide humans toward the truth of divine unity. These prophets serve as intermediaries, conveying God's messages and warning against the pitfalls of succumbing to the temptations of Satan. Satan, known in Arabic as Shaitan or Iblis, occupies a significant role in Islamic cosmology. Initially created from fire and endowed with free will, Satan held a high rank among the angels due to his piety and devotion. However, his arrogance and refusal to bow to Adam, whom God had appointed as his vicegerent on earth, led to his fall from grace. This act of disobedience marked the beginning of Satan's eternal enmity towards humanity. His primary mission since then has been to deceive and mislead humans, enticing them away from the path of righteousness and submission to God's will. According to Islamic tradition, Satan's efforts will persist until the Day of Judgment, when his influence over humanity will finally cease. The Quranic narrative emphasizes that despite the clarity of God's signs in the universe and within themselves, humans often falter in their acceptance of divine guidance. The human soul itself bears witness to the truth of God's unity and grace. Yet many individuals choose disbelief. Kufr, concealing or rejecting the blessings of God. This rejection can lead to spiritual blindness and hardness of heart, making it difficult for such individuals to recognize truth even when presented to them by the messengers of God. However, Islamic theology holds that no matter how deep one's transgressions or how hardened their heart, there is always an opportunity for repentance. Tauba. Repentance is viewed as a transformative process through which individuals acknowledge their sins, feel genuine remorse for their transgressions, and resolve to abandon sinful behavior. The Quran describes repentance as a means to seek God's forgiveness and mercy, highlighting His attributes as Al-Raham, the Most Merciful, and Al-Ghafur, the All-Forgiving. God's mercy transcends human comprehension, offering hope and redemption to those who sincerely turn to Him in repentance. The conditions for sincere repentance in Islam include 1. Acknowledgement of sin. The individual must recognize and admit their wrongdoing without justifying or minimizing its gravity. 2. Remorse and regret. Genuine repentance requires a sincere feeling of remorse for having committed the sin, coupled with a firm intention not to repeat it. 3. Abandonment of sin. The repentant must immediately cease the sinful behavior and make a conscious effort to avoid similar pitfalls in the future. 4. Resolution to reform. There should be a genuine commitment to leading a righteous life and adhering to God's commandments henceforth. Through repentance, believers seek to restore their spiritual purity and strengthen their relationship with God. It is a process of self-accountability and spiritual renewal, reflecting humility and submission to divine will. In Islamic tradition, numerous stories exemplify the transformative power of repentance, where individuals, regardless of their past sins, have been forgiven and granted spiritual purification upon sincere repentance and supplication to God. 
practically, understanding the dynamics of Satan, sin, and repentance guides Muslims in navigating life's moral challenges and spiritual pitfalls. It encourages self-reflection, accountability, and resilience against temptations, while fostering empathy and support within communities. The narrative of repentance underscores the universal human experience of moral fallibility and the continuous opportunity for spiritual growth and renewal. In conclusion, Islamic teachings on Satan, sin, and repentance offer profound insights into the human condition, emphasizing the struggle between good and evil, human vulnerability, and divine compassion. Through repentance, individuals reconcile with God, seeking spiritual purification and eternal salvation. These teachings resonate as timeless truths, guiding Muslims towards moral excellence, steadfast faith, and unwavering trust in God's boundless mercy and grace.